charge of discharge of rhyme. Greedy comics, toys are hella sick, hella whackin' it. Take the bad hits, take the bad hits, start a mix. A subscribing machine for domains. I did get one of these or Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends figure review on not a Marvel Legend, but the Star Wars 6 inch black series, The Force Awakens Episode 7 First Order Snow Trooper TRU exclusive. If you're trying to pick up one of these, you can get them at Toys R Us. Uh, gotta give a big thanks to Mr. Phils. And then looking on the side right over here, you can see it just says First Order Snow Trooper. On the back, you can see there's a read up. If you want to read it, pause it now. And then on the side over here, it's just in red First Order Snow Trooper, and you can see the TRU exclusive sticker right there. All right, let's get to it and Crack this thing open, and here's the snow trooper out of the packaging. I really like this figure a lot. I really love this new design for the first order snow trooper. It just looks really cool. The little backpack over here is really nice. I like how it still has that design from the original snow troopers, but they've definitely changed some things. Definitely less KKK looking right there with that helmet over there. So I'm thinking this is a blaster rifle over here. It looks a bit larger than the first order stormtroopers blaster, as you can see. Here's your comparison. So yeah, the First Order Stormtrooper is just a lot smaller. This one looks cooler. I don't know, I like this one a bit more. And I really like this etched out detail that we get over here. That looks really nice. Nice silver paint apps on here. You can tell the white section does look a little bit more bluish than this one right here. Because I think they used white plastic with this and then painted this black. And then this one has a black plastic and that's painted white. And looking at the other side right there, still looking pretty good. So yeah, not too bad. And it fits in his hands pretty well. He does have only one trigger hand on the right side. The other side, it's more of a support hand. Now again, I really like this snow trooper design. I just think it looks really cool. I like these two little silver pieces right over here at the bottom of the helmet. Just looks really good. I like the little visor section, very, very tiny over there. Helps prevent that snow glare. You know, you could really be blinded by the snow. Then looking right over here, you get some nice black paint apps right there on the back of the helmet. Looking very clean. I dig that. And a very glossy plastic here, too. It's very, very shiny and very reflective. And then looking right here, we have the orange pauldron on these. Now, you do see these two snow troopers in a quick glimpse of the new trailer. And I didn't see any that didn't have the orange pauldron. And I tried removing the head on this guy, and it's, it's just very difficult. I don't want to risk breaking this at all. So I'm sure it's removable if you apply some heat and whatnot, but I'm not going to try that. Um, but having the Poltron on there, it doesn't look bad at all. I like this little text right here, I guess. I'm not sure exactly what that is. Movie hasn't come out yet. We'll get some nice little buttons and silver right over there on the paneling. Looks really good. I really like how it looks like it's supposed to be cloth right over here on the sides. I'm going to turn this down so you can see the wrinkles a little bit better right there. You also have you know some buttons and stuff like that on the forearm. There's the hand again. Looks like he's wearing a white glove. Looks really good. I like that a lot. On the other side, you can see some more of these buttons and everything. Nice wrinkles right there. Looking pretty nice. Then you get this nice soft material right over here for this lower piece. Looks really good. I like that. I like these little sculpted in rivets over here. That looks pretty nice as well. Again, the legs look really good. Nice, you know, insulated material it looks like, and nice black paint right there. Looking on the back, ooh, they even got the black paint in the hinge too. I really like that. Nice attention to detail. That looks really good. That's pretty awesome. And the boots look pretty solid too. Nice little lines etched in there. So there's all kinds of details on this guy. He does have pickles at the bottom of the feet. Not looking too shabby at all. Yeah, dig this. Then looking at the backpack right here, you can remove this if you want to. Just put that right back on. Nice little paint apps right there. Really digging this a lot. And it's a slightly different color just due to the different type of plastic. Now for articulation, you cannot really get his head moving up so much. It's this back part right here of the helmet just really prevents that from happening. You can get him to look down some though, so that's pretty cool. And you do get some side to side movement over here. It's a little bit tricky, but it does work. And not so much with the head pivot over there. His shoulders move outward that much, which works out really great even though he has a shoulder pad over here. It still goes into the torso, so I really dig that. They move forward. He bends at the elbow almost 90 degrees, rotates at the elbow, he has a swivel at the wrist, and they hinge up and down. Same thing with this side over here, it hinges up and down. He has a diaphragm joint that rotates side to side. You can get him to crunch back that much, and he can crunch forward that much. He does not have a waist joint, he does have hip joints though, and even though he does have that skirt, you can move it outward that much. So, you know, it's not as far as the joint really allows, but it doesn't hinder it too badly over there. As far as kicking forward goes, there's no hindrance at all, so that's pretty good. You get an upper thigh swivel, you get double jointed knees, which I'll demonstrate on this one right here, and the knees bend in very far, great articulation over there. Then the ankles move down, 
You can get him to move up only a little bit, and then he does have ankle pivot. Now this Black Series figure is standing right at about six inches tall. And then here's the Snow Trooper next to the First Order Storm Trooper. Thank you so much, Chewbacca. Yeah, that was my birthday present. I need to do a little review on this guy. But anyway, I do feel that it's a bit strange that the Snow Trooper is a little bit shorter than the Storm Trooper. They should be about the same height, or if anything, this guy should be taller, especially because he has more stuff on. Then here's the First Order Snow Trooper next to the Imperial Snow Trooper from Kotobukiya, and you can see the differences and some similarities in the designs. And then here's the snow trooper next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. It's cold in here. Yeah, you know, they say cuddling keeps the body warm in extreme cold weather. Come on. Ah! Oh, right, the nards. <laughs> so I really like this figure a lot, but it is a bit unfortunate that this is a Toys R Us exclusive, so it's going to be tricky trying to get more than one of these guys. I want to get at least two of them. I think it would be kind of cool. And I am upset about the lack of double-jointed elbows in the Black Series figures, even though this guy does have a better single-jointed elbow than the single-jointed elbow that we saw in the First Order Stormtrooper. Anyway, I hope you guys liked my review. If you did, please hit the like button. Click any of these boxes right over here for more shark in your face. If you want to support the channel and be a patron and you're 18 years of age or older, check out the Patreon account. Also, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and go to JediInsider.com for the latest in Star Wars news. I'll catch you guys later! Peace! figure is standing right at about eight eight